Now, there's been a lot of confusion here in the UK about whether or not you need a television license, especially if, say, for instance, you don't have a TV or you don't watch the BBC. Now, do you still need a TV license? Are you over 75? Are you a student? Have you got a second home? Do you need a TV license for that? Well, this guide endeavours to answer all of your questions. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, what is a TV licence? Now, a TV licence is basically there to fund the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Currently, it costs, at the time of writing this video in December 2022, £159 for a colour TV licence and £53.50 for a black and white TV licence. Now, you might be thinking, who's still got a black and white TV? Well, in 2018, there were still over 7,000 black and white TV licences being issued. Whether or not these people were being honest is another thing, but certainly there were 7,000 or over 7,000 TV licences issued in 2018. Anyway, getting back on track, so the licence is there to fund the BBC. But what if you don't have a TV? What if you don't watch the BBC? Do you still need a TV licence? Well, if you watch or record on any channel via any TV service, including Sky, Virgin, Freeview, Freesat, or you watch live streaming services, e.g., ITVX, All4, YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, Now, Sky Go, or you use the BBC iPlayer, then yes, you still need a TV license. It doesn't matter if you're not watching the BBC. If, if you're watching a live TV channel from the UK on any device, and that also includes a TV, a laptop, a phone, a tablet, a games console, a digital box, and like I say, if you've got the ability to record from a live TV channel, then you still must legally have a TV license. So as an example, say for instance, you watch Talk TV on your mobile phone and you don't have a TV. Do you have to have a TV license? Yes, because it is a channel that is streamed live. What about if you say, for instance, have Sky Go and you just watch Sky One? Well, Sky One has recorded programs and it's not part of the BBC. So do you need a TV license? Yes, you still need a TV license because it's a live streamed channel. What if you record your TV and watch it later? Yes, you still need a TV license to record any channel in the UK. And what if you just watch Catch Up TV on the BBC iPlayer? Well, yes, if you use the BBC iPlayer whatsoever, you do need a TV license. What about ITV? Well, if you're watching ITVX and you're not watching any of the live channels, you're just watching the Catch Up TV or programs that are not shown, not sh showing live, then no, you don't need a TV license. What about if you're watching YouTube? No, you don't need a TV license unless you're watching a UK registered TV channel that is being streamed live. Say for instance, if you're watching Sky News via YouTube, you can get that on YouTube. So as soon as you start watching Sky News on YouTube, yes, you do need a TV license. So the bottom line is with any streaming services, with the exception of the BBC iPlayer, if you use the BBC iPlayer for anything, you do still need to have a TV license. But if you use any other streaming services and you're not watching live TV on it, then no, you don't need a TV license. So what about if I pause the TV and watch it on delay? Because then I'm not actually watching it live. Well, yep, you still need a TV license for that. What about if I'm watching a delayed channel such as a plus one, a plus two channel, plus 24 channel? Yes, you still need a TV license for that as well. What about red button services? Yep, afraid so. Doesn't matter what service you're watching, whether it be ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, BBC, Sky, you still need a TV license for red button services too. And what about non-UK channels? Well, yep, if they're broadcast to the UK, then you still need a license to view that channel. So what about if you're 75 or over? Well, you can apply for a free TV license 
if you're in receipt of pension credit. But if you're not in receipt of pension credit and you're not 75 years of age or older, then no, you cannot apply for a free TV license, but you still need to have a license even if you're applying for the free one. So don't just ignore it. You do need to apply. Go to tvlicensing.co.uk and follow any instructions there to get your free license if you think you're entitled to it. So what if you're using, say, a device such as an iPhone, a tablet or a, uh, a laptop or an Android phone and you're away from home. The rules are strange on this because if you're watching live TV on any of those devices or any device or a, a portable television and you're away from home, it should be covered on your home TV license just as long as it's not plugged into the mains. So as soon as you plug that device into the mains, then if you're watching live TV on any device, so if you start charging your laptop, your phone or your tablet, or you plug your TV into the mains, then you will need to have a license at the property or premises you are watching the service at. So for instance, if you're watching live TV, say at work on your phone or tablet, Whilst you've not got it plugged into the mains, you're, you're covered on your home TV license. But as soon as you plug it in to charge it and you're still watching that stream channel, you need to ensure that your employer has a TV license for that property. So what about second homes? Now, in most cases, second homes, yes, you will need a TV license, a separate TV license for that second home. And no, you can't transfer the license from your main home to your second home as and when you sort of go between the two homes. Now, the exceptions are if you've got a boat, a touring caravan, or a vehicle that you stay in with a TV, then that is licensed via your home TV license. That also applies to static caravans, mobile homes, or movable chalets as well. So if you've got any of those, you don't need a second TV license, but any other second home, whether it be a holiday home or not, then yes, you do need a separate TV license for that. So what if you're a student? Well, if you're in halls, then you'll need to be covered by your own license to watch a TV in your room or live TV on any device. Now, obviously the way around that is, is whilst if, if you say, for instance, you're watching all your live TV on your laptop, phone or tablet, then just make sure that it's running off the battery whilst you're watching it. Don't charge it at the same time you're watching live TV. But if you wanna watch any catch up TV on any app apart from the BBC iPlayer, then you're okay to plug it back in and watch that. What about if you've got a, a house or a flat share with a separate tenancy agreement? Well, if there's a separate tenancy agreement, then yes, again, you'll need to have your own license. There won't be one license that covers the whole property because you've got a separate tenancy agreement. If the household has got a shared tenancy agreement, then you should be okay to get one license between the whole household. So yes, just to clarify, if you've got a joint tenancy agreement, then you'll only need one TV license to cover the whole property. And again, the same applies for tenants or lodgers, but if you live in a self-contained accommodation, such as a separate flat or an annex, then yes, you do need your own TV license. And if you've got, like students, a separate tenancy agreement for your room, then again, you'll need your own TV license. If you've got a joint tenancy agreement, then one license will cover the whole house or flat. Now, there's an, also an extra caveat in that. If you don't have access or exclusive access to a toilet or washing facility, so if you share your toilet or washing facilities in a, a building with other tenants, then you may well need to have your own TV license. 
that is a bit of a grey area and I would con say contact TV licensing at tvlicensing.co.uk to clarify your own situation there. Now what if you're a lodger and you have a relationship with a homeowner who also has a valid licence, for example a family member, a common law partner, a nanny, au pair, housekeeper, then no you don't need your own TV licence, you, you should be covered under the, the properties TV licence if they have one. Now what if you're a residential landlord, a bit like Rigsby in the 70s, if you remember that. Um, well, if there's a joint tenancy agreement, again, then one license will cover the whole household. If each tenant has their own separate tenancy agreement for their room, then multiple licenses will be needed. So each tenant will need their own license and the landlord will need his or her own license as well. So what if you're in a care home or sheltered accommodation? Well, many care homes have a special type of TV license or cover you. It's called a accommodation for residential care license and it costs £7.50 per room, flat or bungalow. But obviously speak to the managers of the care home or the accommodation to clarify that if need be. If anyone in your household is blind, severely sight impaired and can provide the appropriate evidence, you are eligible to apply for a 50% concession even if other people in your home are fully sighted. Now, what if you only listen to the radio? Well, if you only listen to the radio, no, you don't need a TV license. You don't need a TV license if you only listen to the radio, including BBC stations, so that's fine. And you can also use the BBC Sounds app, which is separate from the BBC iPlayer. And again, you won't need a TV license to listen to BBC Sounds, you won't need a, a TV licence to listen to BBC Radio on DAB, FM, medium wave, long wave, short wave, just, just won't need a TV licence at all to listen to radio. So you may be thinking, if I've not got a TV licence but I'm watching live TV, then how can they detect that? Well, they've got a database of everybody that's got a TV licence, so therefore they can compare that against all the addresses that haven't got a TV license. An officer could visit your property and check to see whether you've got a license or not. Also, they still use detector vans. There's been some, uh, some debate on that, whether or not they are effective. Who knows? So if you're prosecuted, then you could get a fine of up to £1,000 or £2,000 if you live in Guernsey. In England and Wales, you could also be subject to a victim surcharge of 40% of the fine. In Northern Ireland, an offender levy of £15. In the jurisdiction in which TV licensing conduct prosecution, prosecution costs of around £120. If you plead not guilty, this cost could be much higher and compensation for a period of unlicensed use if requested and you'll still have to buy a TV license if you need one. Now, whilst you can't be sent to prison for a TV licensing conviction, you can be sent to prison for deliberately refusing to pay court fines. So whilst they, they can't send you to prison for non-payment of a TV license, you could be indirectly sent to prison for non-payment of court fines. So please keep that in mind. So there you go. I hope that has answered all of your questions on TV licensing and whether or not you do need a TV license. If you've got any questions, then please comment down below. If you've got any answers, then also please comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some more time and money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.